Hi, I'm Marie, and I'm 15. Well, here we are at the riding stables. Who would have thought I would ever have my own horse? My best friend Sarah moved to America, which is a pity, and she asked me to look after her horse. Unfortunately, stable rent and feed aren't exactly cheap, and my dad isn't very enthusiastic about the whole idea either. It's true I wasn't really nuts about horses before, but just because I wasn't before doesn't mean I won't be now, and I'd so love to look after him. That's why we want to talk to the stable owner today. Maybe he'll be able to help us out, and I'll be able to keep Sarah's horse. Marie, I know you've become very fond of Sarah's horse, but your own horse? That's just not really possible. Oh, Dad, can't we please keep the horse? Isn't there anything at all we can do? Marie, I've explained this to you already. A horse is just too expensive to keep. Oh, but Dad, it would be so great if I could keep Sarah's horse. It's just too much money for us, Marie. Excuse me, I couldn't help but overhear. I'm Mr Straw, the stable owner, and I'd like to suggest something to you. Hello, Mr Straw. As you know, Sarah's family has moved to the United States, and Sarah couldn't take her horse with her. Now, Sarah would love my daughter Marie to look after her horse, of course. Both girls are very fond of the horse. But the problem is that I don't think we can afford to pay the stable fees. How about if Marie simply worked here at the stable for a while? Then I could give you a reduction on the price of keeping the horse for the work she does. And after that, you can always look for a buyer for Sarah's horse. What do you think? Oh, yes, Dad, please. OK, Mr Straw. And that would give Marie a chance to find out whether she's willing to put in all the hard work a horse requires in the long run. Good. And I'll see you early tomorrow morning, Marie. Bye now. Welcome, Marie. Are you looking forward to your first day with us? Here's your horse in this stall. I have a job for you now. Tend to your horse, muck out his stall, spread fresh straw in it, and fill up the water container and food trough. Make sure you use the correct utensil. You'll find everything you need to look after the horse and the stall here in the stall a pitchfork and fresh straw for mucking out, hoof pick, curry comb and main comb for your horse. You can check out the properties of your horse in the stall book. Your horse has different stall values, which you can see on the left of the screen. These are hunger, thirst and its care level. Each value will improve or worsen depending on how much attention you give to it. The stall values influence important properties of your horse. Strength influences jumping length and jumping height. Speed refers to riding speed. And the more stamina your horse has, the longer and more often you can ride it each day. This is the saddle room. Here, you'll find feed, water, and all saddles and bridles you've earned. When you've collected enough gold ribbons, various main adornments are also available to you here.
Welcome, Marie. Take a look, Marie. There's even a cosy common room here where you can find out all about riding. The different events of the various riding competitions are posted on a board. And you can also see the number of gold ribbons you've collected so far there. I'm a riding instructor here. That's the exit to the outdoor arena. If you want to go riding outdoors or take part in a small competition, this is the way out.
you'll find everything you need to look after the horse and the stall here in the stall. A pitchfork and fresh straw for mucking out, hoof pick, curry comb and main comb for your horse. You can check out the properties of your horse in the stall book. Your horse has different stall values, which you can see on the left of the screen. The stall values influence... This is the saddle. What are you doing here? Do you even have a horse? You can take part in dressage competitions here in the riding hall or in show jumping competitions over there by the horse box, but only if you're good enough. <laughs> You've done your work very well, Marie. You've worked enough for today. You can go home now. I'll see you again in the morning. <laughs> Hello, Marie. As I saw yesterday, you looked after your horse well, and you seem to know certain basic information already. To help you learn more and to get to know your horse even better, you should go over to the forest and ride out there for a little while. Hi Marie, it's great to have you back here.